Hello everyone, this is McVay and welcome back to my channel. On this video, we're going to make a quick review of this Hasbro Marvel Legends uh, Walgreens exclusive Stafford Cuckoo's action figure. So for those collectors who are not familiar with this Stafford Cuckoo's character like I am, since I'm not a com comic reader myself, the absolute thing that you just have to remember about this character is that uh, they are a clone of Emma Frost. And on this Walgreens exclusive um, figure, you could actually create three of those clones. And I'll be showing that a little shortly, but in the meantime, let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories that came in with this figure. This figure actually came with a decent amount of accessories. Not a lot, but good enough so that uh, you have options to display this figure. And it comes with two additional head sculpt so the first one is this one right here and her name is Celeste so if we take a look uh, closer look at this other one right here this one is Irma uh, also called sometimes as Mindy and then this one is uh, Phoebe again it's uh, you know pretty pretty uh, nice head sculpt uh, they also come with this Cerebro helmet which is similar to the uh, Dr. Xavier figure that we have you know the box set in uh, hover chair it's basically the same except that this one doesn't have the, uh, the uh, effect that comes with the Dr. Xavier one so you could kind of see the hole where that thing's you know used to plug in but this is a pretty cool addition they also comes with uh, two effects that you put right here you know i'll show that to you later I'll, when i have all three uh displayed and i'll put this in there but yeah this is pretty cool that it comes with that as well and then the one that I'm really happy also is that they also provided us with uh, with the swappable hands, a close-fisted hands, which we don't normally get from a lot of the Marvel Legends. You know, I mean, sometimes I wonder what's the thinking by you know Hasbro for not making this more of like a standard in most of the figures that they release, because one thing that you want to have is being able to have an option to you know to display it in a close hands because sometimes it just doesn't look right you know um for a figure to have an open you know hands all the time especially if you're going to try to do a different pose let's go ahead and take a look at the articulation of this figure and if we take a look at the head part she can do left and right not much going on uh, if you want to make her look up it's because of the hair is blocking uh, that movement so not much you can make her you could tilt the head forward a little bit but again not that much as for the shoulder you could lift it up that much Actually, you could lift it more, sorry. You could actually lift it that high. So you could probably make her do some dabbing movement, dabbing pose. And then if you rotate, it rotates without any hindrance from the jacket. And the jacket, by the way, is made out of uh, soft plastic. So that's actually pretty good. Uh, and then now the elbow, of course, is the always uh, nitpick of a lot of the collectors because it's all on a single jointed elbow and so that's as far as you can bend that elbow and then for the hands you can actually rotate the hands and then move it down and up the wrist right there all right so for the upper body you have just an articulation right there in the 
in the mid mid section so if you move her forward like that that's as far as she can go and if you bend her backwards that's as far as she can go because uh, again the jacket is um, not letting her you know stay bend backwards like that uh, all right so the bottom part is you actually have a tie cut right here just don't see it it's under the the skirt so you could you know turn this legs you know around of course we have the double jointed legs so she can bend it that way there's also a cut right here on the legs lower legs so you could do left and right and then the foot is on a ball joint you could do left and down and it's also uh has the left and right left and right uh movement as well so you can make it flat when you're doing splits you can still have her stand flat and then in terms of like um, the legs opening you could go that far again it's because of the uh, skirt that's uh, making you not be able to do the split on this one all right so just take a quick look at the back and then once again close up for the head all right so let's go ahead and take a look at the other two so here's the stepford cuckoos all together so if you are able to find three of these then you can create this uh three different uh characters of phoebe celeste and irma and as you can see they actually look pretty cool all together when you have them like that and like i said uh you know those effect uh goes in the hand so um that looks perfect on celeste right now and then for this one i didn't really try putting this thing on but i'm pretty sure you could probably put this uh especially on irma i don't know if you could put it on the other two just because of the way the hair is so yeah this is uh what you're gonna have once you have all uh three together so what i'm gonna do right now is i'm gonna go ahead and start doing some uh comparison so i'm just gonna start bringing in some figures just to give you guys an idea of the size comparison so here's juggernaut i'm gonna put him in the back oops As you can see he's the, the tallest figure you know so you have an idea if you put like a bath to build a figure so that's the size of that i also have i'm just gonna be careful i got a uh, cable what else do I have in here? Let's see, I have Storm. What else? I have Boom Boom. Okay, I also have jubilee i got wolverine as well i'll just put wolverine down below all right what else oh yeah and then i'm gonna try and put the new mutants in here as well so you got her and you got Got Danny. Okay, 
and Karma. Here we go. Let's see. And I actually have Magic as well, but I don't have space in the platform, so I'm just going to put her down below. All right, so that concludes our video. Please tune in for photos at the end of this video. And if you find this video helpful and informative, then please give this a thumbs up, guys. And if you want to follow my channel, please hit that subscribe button to help me out. And if you have questions, suggestions, or just wanted to say hi to me, then please leave me a message in the comment section below. And also, please hit that notification bell so that you'll always be updated when I put up new videos. Once again, this is MacBay saying thank you for, for watching. And please remember, every day may not be good, but there is always something good in every day. Alright guys, peace.